Okay, up into the middle, we're into another formation right now, it's called reverse diamond formation. You know what, pretty done for the drivers in reverse right now to see how the rear window with those bright lights beaming down, so we're going to flick them around and send them the right way. these drivers do. It's also the signature move of the Precision at Driving Team. It is diamond formation. If you've got a camera, get it out and start getting happy with it. Because right now as they come around, a little history lesson for you. This actual driving team had started back in the mid-1960s. Been with a number of different manufacturers over its time. But five years ago, so I had to come on board with these 2007 model Hiluxes and we haven't looked back since. We thought, hey, we better jazz them up a little bit for the new year. And they're five years old, so let's put some stickers on the side and make them look a little fresher. But uh, the only modifications we've done to them are the custom suspension, some wheels, some Bridgestone tyres on those, some racing seats on the inside and some harnesses for our drivers and our very, very lucky passengers. But as they come around this block formation, we're not really testing our unbreakable nature of the highlight. Well, guess what? We've got a test in mind right now, lining up to get a little bit of air. Three wheels up in the air with that beefed up suspension. It's pretty brutal when they drop on down. Now, they're going to need those racing seats and racing harnesses, especially those passengers. They are going for the ride of their life here tonight at Royal Adelaide Show. This is a test for the Toyota. Now they're going to need those answers because here we go, flinging them around into reverse. This is the ultimate ride here at the Royal Adelaide Show to be one of the passengers in these Hiluxes. And thanks to seeing my Toyota, they are actually giving away a ride here at the show. And that lucky passenger will be in the Hiluxes tomorrow night. But right now, all four of them up nice and close for you in this reverse single file. Once again, those bright lights beaming down, making it very hard as you go around into the spotlights. And see them go a little bit crazy there, trying to make sure they go on a straight line, but getting blinded by the light. But let's flick it the right way. Here they go, all four together. and close once again in this single file. This is the only precision driving team in Australia and the only one in the world that does anything like this. These guys are getting a bit of history right now, but we're lining up, I think, once again to come on towards the grass and get a little bit more air. Here we go, up and over again. much time to straight into a formation right now. It's one of the harder ones they do. It's harder even for me to say. It's called Echelon. Each of the drivers picking a spot on the highlights next to them. Jack Molkow's closest to the wall is the only one looking ahead. The other three pointing to a spot on the highlights next to them, making sure the logo is out the entire time. But all four of the drivers agree, by far this is the hardest one they do. Coming around right now for four abreast. It might look nice and smooth out on the track, but have a look at the highlights closest to up. Weaving all over the place is very bumpy and actually very sandy. In parts of this track, it's almost up to a foot of depth, 30 centimetres worth of sand. The driver's having to rely on all of their skill. Each of them did start at a very young age, and together they have over 100 years of motorsport background combined. Well, right now, I'm flicking our drivers around. I do this for you guys. We're going to bring them out to different parts of the arena. Two highlights on each side. Teams, if you like it. And right now, lining up on this big open wet slippery grass for what they like to call a two-way crossover. 
Uh, on the brakes, wheels walking up as they get looking sideways to control these highlights since they slow down a bit. You know our drivers travel all over the country, so we do about 30 shows a year. And over the five years, these highlights have done about a thousand performances, but even the drivers like to play little games. Each of them lining up for a little one they like to play. It's called chicken for obvious reasons. Now, did anyone edge a little bit closer to the edge of their seat? Well, just be conscious of where you're sitting right now, because here we go, lining up again, a whole heap of speed by the right foot on the accelerator for this, the two-way stagger crossover. Straight out of that racing once again. Once you commit it, there is absolutely no backing out. I like haven't finished playing games over on the back straight there as well, watching out for one another. We're going to line up for a little parking demonstration. Oh, it's pretty tight around here at the showground. All right, now watch the car from the door. John Larson as he pulls the handbrake up and slides on into his spot. a little bit left out, but they didn't do, get to do a little slide with their handbrake. So I think it's only fair we let them do that right now, lining up in the middle of the straight, in the back straight. Lift the handbrake up and slide on past your body. Right now, hang on, we're in reverse. We better make you do a full lap. They are precision drivers after all. Now, to flip them back the right way, we do what we call is a flick. As you meet your buddy in the middle, you put a bit more speed into reverse. You put your foot on the clutch, reef the steering wheel around into first gear, and seamlessly away you go. Well, what do you guys reckon, Adelaide? Do you reckon they're pretty good drivers? Well, they are precision drivers after all. They can go a whole lot of fast around the track. Obviously, it's a confined environment that we have here. But a precision driver, they know how to stop. That's the difference. But the real skill of precision driving is going slow. I'll get out three drivers right now to demonstrate exactly what I mean. Our three drivers right now, Jack Egan and John, putting a big capital P in precision. I don't know, I reckon this is pretty cool. What do you guys think? Well, I'm sure there's one or two kids out there going, hey, I want to be a highlights hero when I'm a little bit older. Well, what you got to do, guys, you got to start at a very young age. On your skater, your skateboard, your scooter, or your skater, that's a new word just made up. Oh, your BMX bike. Then you got to progress through the ranks of club, state, national, and international motorsport. Well, yeah, hang on, you missed a skip. How do you get into the car? Well, at the age of 12 to 14, you can usually join your local car club. By that age, you're usually big enough to see over the steering wheel, which kind of helps in knowing where you're going. Then from there, it's a short little transition, club, state, national, international motorsport competition. Then maybe one day you could be ripping it up here at the Royal Adelaide Show. Now one driver that didn't really get the gist to get off his two wheels is this man, Dave Shannon. Right now, defying gravity with his Hilux up on two wheels. Been very tricky for him at the show. As he comes on past, put your hands together, scream and shout, or just throw them up in the air so Dave knows to keep on going. Very bumpy on the front straight, balancing that Hilux purely on the side wheel of that tyre. Controlling the Hilux by the front steering wheel and that was a little crazy then, putting a bit of accelerator in to get the car back to where he wanted it. We do have that wheel on the side, but hey, in this modern day, we have to have it to take passengers for a ride. And right now, one of our guests from Toyota is getting the ride of their life around this awesome arena. You guys up in the concrete stand, there's a lot more than before, so make some noise as Dave comes on past. 
started this back in the 1980s, Dave Shannon. He's one of the first men in Australia to do this. And as you get a glimpse on the big screen right now, you can see how hard he is turning that steering wheel from left to right, catching it. But Dadelaide, give it up for Dave Shannon, our two-wheel specialist. He just makes it look so easy, but I know it is way, way hard. Right now, he's going the wrong way. He likes to be a little bit different. But we've got one more trick up our sleeve. You know this big ramp our three highlights are parked under over there? Well, it's 12 metres apart. And come showtime, we break it up, move it apart distance, and right now, launch it through the air. We're pretty rough on our gear. But hey, they are unbreakable highlights after all. For another game of chicken, what have they got in store? Anything is possible with these guys, you never know. But you guys want action, right? Well, you're about to get it, even if you don't. Four Hiluxes, four different parts of the main arena. I'm not gonna look, each four racing for one another in a four-way crossover. Well, it's a pleasure to be back here, rocking into the Royal Adelaide Show. Adelaide, put one hand out, put one hand next to it, bang it together, make a whole heap of noise for Toyota's unbreakable Hilux Heroes. John Boston, Dave Shannon, Ian Dyke, and Adelaide's own Jack Monkhouse. Our guys are even that skilled, they can drive their Hiluxes without being in them. They're still running. Well, you guys have been an awesome crowd, and this is just the warm-up for the evening activities. If you'd like a little more information about our unbreakable five-year-old Hiluxes or our highly skilled drivers that are behind the wheel, jump onto our Facebook fan page, Toyota V6 Hilux Heroes. But give it up for the boys one last time on this, the second last night of the Royal Adelaide Show. Luke, what a, what a good start. You know what? These guys might have the best job in the world, but even the best job has bad parts, and right now all four of them are up to wash their own cars. So I think they made it pretty dirty. We better leave it to them. If you get it dirty, you got to clean it yourself. Absolutely, that's how it is. Mate, plenty more entertainment here tonight, though, hey? That was just a warm-up. Massive night coming up. Thank you very much, Jason Graham. Put your hands together one more time for the VX V6 Unbreakable Toyota Hilux Heroes.